buongiorno and welcome to Moments with Monsignor Craig in Assisi. You know, I've been very blessed to have time to sit and reflect and think about Francis's life. And I made a few notes of some things that I've been thinking about and things that I'd like to share with you. The, the first one was simplicity, the simplicity of his life and, and how each of us needs to simplify our lives. It seems that the world is making us go faster and faster and there's always so many things to do. But Francis found that balance of, of peace in simplicity. I love the way that people here greet each other. Um, you walk and people look you in the eye and they say, buongiorno or hello and, and this. And, and I think sometimes we get so busy and we race and we're going place to place and we don't acknowledge each other's presence. I like that I watch the sisters here of atonement, Sister Sue and Sister Alessandra, and they, they take time in the business of their day, they stop by the chapel and I'll look in and I'll see them praying and I'm thinking to myself how easy it would be in the busyness of the day, maybe if you can't make it to a church or to a noon mass, but just to go outside for a moment, five minutes, and just acknowledge the presence of God. Food here is amazing. I have to walk almost 10,000 feet a day just so I keep the calories down. But, you know, slowing down and eating. Um, you're not rushed here when you eat. And I think to myself, how often I just kind of take down my food. I don't taste it. I don't savor it. I don't see if I can figure out what, what and where things come from. And so maybe today when you go to your lunch or your dinner, maybe slow down a little bit and just take time to taste the food with that heart of gratitude. Um, I spent a lot of time reading and you know maybe this summer would be a great time to pick up a book and start it and and maybe don't put the pressure to have to finish it all so fast but just to read a chapter I think listening too um, I become very aware to myself how I don't really listen you know at St. Francis the bells go off every hour and I can't remember even hearing them most of the time and I'm up here and I'm very aware when I hear the bells ring and the birds the birds their sounds and Maybe just take a few moments to find nature wherever you're at and just to listen for the sounds of God speaking to you through creation. I think laughing too. You know, I, I've spent a lot of time just laughing with people, sharing stories. Um, and that's what our life is about, is about connecting with one another and, and sharing the stories and laughing about the mistakes and the things we do. And, funny stories. So I'd encourage you to maybe, you know, even as a family this summer, to slow down a little bit and, and, and share stories and to laugh together. I also discovered that, you know, when I celebrate Mass here in Assisi, everybody prays slower. They, it, it kind of slows the pace of Mass. I feel like it's very prayerful and it's something I'm really challenging myself as a priest to, to slow down that pace, not to rush through Mass, but to really listen to the words and to pray. I spend some time just listening to some classical music or Gregorian chant and just calming my spirit from the rush of the day. And I think one of the things I do right now in CC is just count my blessings. And it's something we can do anywhere, wherever you are, at work, home. Take a moment to count the blessings. Thank God for your spouse, your children, your job, you know, just to take some moments to have that heart of gratitude. And just realizing that you don't have to come to a CC to do that, and I know that. But I'm blessed to have this experience to come and remind myself of what I need to take back with me and do. So from a CC, I wish you Pax et Bonum, peace and blessings. <laughs>